Life itself depends on a huge variety of enzymatically catalyzed reactions. For example, in your liver, multiple enzymes break down a polysaccharide glycogen into its better processable subunit, glucose 6-phosphate, which acts as an essential energy source in the body. In general, enzyme cascades can be imagined as various process steps in a company. Think of every enzyme as an employee in an office. When an order is placed, a chain of process steps is triggered, leading to the eventual fulfillment of the order. The first employee fulfills his task and then passes the order on to the next employee in the process chain, who passes it on to the next, and the next, and the next. Unfortunately, the office layout is not optimized and we have long pathways between the different office rooms. This leads to significant delays. To make the process more time efficient, it would be useful to improve the layout of the office spaces. The same principle can also be implemented in enzymatic cascades by bringing the enzymes into closer proximity using so-called surface layer protein. Surface layers, or in short, S-layers, are prokaryotic protein membranes which assemble into two-dimensional lattices. Depending on the organism, the S-layer proteins have different symmetries, like oblique, squared, or hexagonal, and result in specific structural patterns of the assembled lattices. These characteristic properties allow the fixation of enzymes to the surface in a very regular fashion. Regarding the office space metaphor, the S-layer proteins determine the most efficient layout of the office spaces, allowing the employees, the bound enzymes, to work more efficiently. Moreover, novel lattice structures could be created by the combination of S-layers with different symmetries. There can be two possible outcomes. On the first hand, the different protein species might organize in distinct clusters. On the other hand, they might arrange in novel homogeneous lattice structures, which could prove useful as alternative, potentially even better, office layouts. These layouts are not limited to the second dimension, but could be expanded to the third dimension using streptavidin as layer fusion proteins. Multiple monolayers may be vertically stacked on top of each other using biotin linkers, which will create regular nanotube-like structures of definable length. Small molecules could be embedded into these nanotube-like structures, creating surfaces with highly variable functionality. As you see, Surface layers offer tremendous potential for functional biomembranes. This is our project for iGEM 2018.